Hey guys, this is Saifuddin Ghanizada. Welcome to another tutorial from tech for all In this video, I will show you how you can configure the DNS server, how you can configure a forward lookup zone and a reverse lookup zone. Let's start. Open the server manager. Click on the tools menu and then select DNS from the menu. Select your server and then expand it. As you can see, currently there is no forward lookup zone and no reverse lookup zone is configured. To configure the forward lookup zone, right click on the forward lookup zone and select new zone from the right click menu. The new zone configuration wizard will be open to you. Click the next button to start configuration. You can configure three types of zone, primary zone, secondary zone, and staff zone. If you do not have any DNS server in your network, and this server will be the first DNS server that you want to configure, so you can choose primary zone. If you have another DNS server in your network, and you also want to configure this server as a DNS server, so this DNS server will be secondary zone. As I don't have any other DNS server in my network, so this server will be the primary zone. Click the next button. Specify a name for your zone. As I am creating this DNS server for my domain controller, so I will write down my domain name in here. Click the next button. Here, the server is asking you that do you want to create a new zone file or you will copy the records of another DNS server using a file that you have copied with yourself. As it is the first DNS server, I will go with the first option and create a new DNS file. If you have a copy of your DNS file from another DNS server, you can choose this option and give the file name in here. But first, you have to ensure that the DNS file should be in the system32 folder and then in the DNS folder. Then you can type the domain name in here and the DNS records will be copied. I will go with the first option and create a new zone file. Click the next button. Here you have three options. The first option, which is grayed out, is basically used with Active Directory which means that if your domain controller and your DNS server both are configured on one server, so the first option will be enabled and you can use the secure dynamic updates with your domain controller or active directory. As I have separate servers for my domain controller and DNS, so I will go with the second option. Although it is not secure and it has significant security vulnerabilities, but that's okay. Records will be accepted from any source. If you go with the third option, it will not allow dynamic updates and you must update the records manually, which is not a good option, although it might increase your security, but you have to update the records manually, which is not a good option. So I will go with the second option. Click the next button. The forward lookup zone is configured. Here you can see the specifications, the name, the type, the lookup type, and the file name. Click the finish button. Now that the forward lookup zone is configured, let's create a record for the forward lookup zone. Right click on an empty space and select new host from the right click menu. Type the device name. Give an IP address. Click on the add host button. The record was successfully created. Now to verify that whether the DNS server works and can it resolve hostname to IP, let's do an NS lookup. Open CMD and type NS lookup. Now you have to type the hostname which we created earlier. It is not showing the address. Let's flush and register the DNS and then try back the NS lockup. app. 
Now let's do an NS lookup again. Let's troubleshoot the issue and find out what's the problem. I think there is an issue with the network adapter and with the IP configuration. Yes, there is an issue. I have not specified a DNS server in here. I have typed the DNS server's address. Click OK. Click OK. Click Close. Close the network connections page. Now let's flush and register the DNS again. And once again, we will look into the NSLOOK app. Now it works. Let's check the hostname. As you can see that now it can resolve from hostname to IP address, which is the job of forward lookup zone. Now let's create a reverse lookup zone. Right click on the reverse lookup zones, select new zone from the right click menu. The new zone configuration wizard will be opened. Click on the next button. Again, as I don't have any extra DNS server, so I will go with the first option, which is primary zone. And I will do the IPv4 reverse lookup zone. Here you have to type the first three octets of your network. And then click on the next button. Again, the server is asking me that whether I want to create a new zone or I will copy the records of another DNS server from a specific file. I will go with the first option and create a new zone. Again, I will go with the second option, although it's not secure, but I do not prefer to update the records manually. The reverse lookup zone is created. Click on the finish button. Let's expand the reverse lookup zone and check the records. Right click and then reload. Click yes to reload. Let's create a new record. So I will give the IP address of 44 and will give a name, for example, test desktop. Click OK. Now let's reload once again. Let's go back and do an NS lookup for this record. As you can see, that it has resolved from IP address to hostname and from hostname to IP address. And that's all for today, guys. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If this video helped you and you have configured your DNS server successfully, give the video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will catch you very soon with another video. Till then, have a nice time.